growth is back, confidence is back, and thanks to President Donald Trump, America is back. On the stump in Pittsburgh, Vice President Mike Pence made two stops in our area this afternoon. The Vice President was in Bethel Park raising money and support for congressional candidate Rick Saccone. He also stopped for a speech at the Heinz History Center. And while he was there, he spoke one-on-one -on -one with KDK political editor John Delano. John joins us live now with more on the story. John? Hey, Stacy and Julie. Well, you know, Vice President Pence came here to Pittsburgh to boost the campaign of Republican Rick Saccone against Democrat Connor Lamb in the March 13th special congressional election. But this visit to the Heinz History Center was basically governmental. It was official, which would mean it's non-political so that it would allow the taxpayers, the government, to pick up part of the tab for the travel to Pittsburgh. But let's face it. Anytime the president or vice president goes anywhere, it's bound to be political. Vice President Pence came to Pittsburgh mixing both public policy and politics, speaking out for Rick Saccone in the special congressional election next month. Pence and Saccone share solid conservative credentials, along with a deep religious faith. So I asked the vice president, how important is religious faith? as a touchstone when you're looking to vote for an individual for Congress? Well, I think everybody makes their decision about who they support. I, I support Rick Saccone because he simply stands for the taxpayers of Pennsylvania and he has a, a lifetime of public service in the uniform of the United States, in serving in your General Assembly, and President Trump and I know that Rick Saccone is going to make a great conservative leader for Western Pennsylvania. Besides America's boosting Saccone, Pence began. took a shot at Senator Bob Casey up for re-election this year. But I think the people of Pennsylvania deserve better. I asked Pence about the attack. And I honestly believe the people of Pennsylvania deserve to know that Senator Bob Casey voted against cutting their taxes. Businesses across Pennsylvania deserve to know that Senator Bob Casey voted against cutting taxes in a way that allow them to grow and expand and compete with companies all over the world. Senator Bob Casey voted against repealing the Obamacare mandate. And Pence, when reminded, understood its voters at this end of the state that delivered for the Republicans. You know it's Western Pennsylvania that delivered the state of Pennsylvania to your ticket. <laughs> President Trump and I love Pennsylvania. <laughs> Western Pennsylvania, sir. <laughs> we love Western Pennsylvania. Of course, they have to love Western Pennsylvania. It delivered the state for the Trump-Pence ticket in 2016, and they're counting on their voters in this region to deliver the congressional district to Rick Saccone on March 13th. Of course, this is a hard-fought campaign, and we're going to hear much more about this in the weeks ahead. Live at the Heinz History Center, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks. Now, in regards to those comments the vice president made about Senator Bob Casey, the senator responded, saying in part, I would put my record of securing health care for 2,000 retired coal miners and securing funding to repair the region's waterways, which support 200,000 jobs, up against the vice president's tax giveaways to the super rich and big corporations any day, end quote. 